Have you ever wound up with a bad case of the gamer leg? In case you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at this post that's been going around recently. And like a lot of people, I was wondering what this actually is. You see, to the best of my knowledge, this man is not blue cheese flavored, nor is he cookies and cream flavored, and he probably doesn't taste like blueberry muffins. I haven't tasted it myself, so I can't say for sure, but it seems unlikely. And the more this image spread, the more theories I saw about what this actually is. Most of them completely off the mark. But as it turns out, the owner of this leg actually came out to tell the real story. So for today's episode of Tales from the Internet, let's take a look at a condition known as Gamer Leg. This video is sponsored by Copilot. Copilot is an app that combines the personalization and the accountability of a real human expert with the flexibility of technology. Your virtual coach customizes guided workouts to your goals, schedule, and injuries. Every program is tailored to you and continuously adapted. I actually didn't realize at first that the app pairs you up with a real human coach. I was expecting some kind of automated thing, but I started using Copilot by having a call with my coach Isaiah. Because I already work out, we spoke about how we can change things up and optimize them. We went over what equipment I have access to as well as how long I want to work out and how many days I want to work out. And then he made custom workouts for me based on our conversation. I was honestly kind of skeptical thinking this was going to be one of those lame 15 minute office workout type deals. But his program was actually the right amount of challenge for me. And if your program is too easy or too hard, you can adjust it in the app, which actually provides your coach with helpful feedback. And if for whatever reason you don't think your coach is a good fit for you, you can switch to a new one. Something that the app has actually helped me out with a lot, I have the tendency between sets to kind of get lost on my phone, then all of a sudden I've waited way too long. Copilot keeps me locked in by timing the entire workout for me. You never have to think about your workouts because everything's planned for you. And the system is extremely flexible. You can work out at the gym or at home and you can do it anytime. Whether you're new to working out or you're experienced and just want to find a way to kick things up a notch, Copilot makes fitness easy. Click my Copilot link in the description or go to go.mycopilot.com slash wang. You'll get 14 days of free personalized fitness. You might be surprised to hear that I've seen a lot of gross shit in my time online, but there's always specifically been something about diseases that actually bothers me extra. I don't know what it is, I've just been always a little more skeeved out by it than most other stuff on gore sites that people consider worse. I think it's just something about the unknown factor here. You look at it and you're like, is this contagious? Will I get it? Is there anything that I can do to prevent myself from getting it? And this one has no context, it's just a caption that says, anyone else have gamer leg? And it just looks straight zombified. You got patches of gray skin with scabs and open sores. And among all the jokes, people are really trying to figure out what this is. It's clearly not something that a little moisturizer will help, even if you pay top dollar for the drunken elephant stuff. One suggestion that I saw a lot was the bubonic plague. And you might be like, wait a minute, I thought they wiped out the bubonic plague in the Middle Ages. They didn't. In fact, it still exists all over the world, including the western half of the US. On average, we get seven cases a year. These cases generally come from flea bites, from fleas that were carried by rodents. That being said, though, the bubonic plague is actually very treatable now, and it's very rare to actually die if you get it. And it looks nothing like this leg. The leg looks worse than the plague. Another common theory that I saw that this was the effects of poorly managed diabetes. Issues in the feet and legs from diabetes can manifest in a lot of different ways, but they generally don't look like this leg. Probably of everything I saw suggested, the closest match was scabies. Scabies, if you've forgotten from health class, is a parasitic infection that you sometimes get as an STD, but you can actually get it from any prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact. And some of the more severe cases do kind of resemble this, but the gamer leg picture clearly has a lot of necrotizing skin. On occasion, you will see a case of scabies where that happens, but it's super rare, something like 4% of cases. And when it does manifest, it's usually not as severe as this leg. But here's the thing, while we're all having our minds blown by this picture of a limb that looks like it was handcrafted by Tom Savini, myself included, for members of the fighting game community, this was old news. This was already an important piece of ancient lore. As it turns out, the leg belonged to a pro gamer named Marn. Marn had competed since 2005 and was most known for Guilty Gear. He also competed in various Street Fighter and Marvel vs. titles, as well as a Dragon Ball title. So technically, it really was Gamer Leg. The gamer leg situation came to be in July of 2014. Marn had been posting about this condition, showing the onset until it developed into the infamous gamer leg picture. The picture starts to make the rounds first inside the fighting game community, and then it breaches containment spilling out all over the internet. In particular, this one post on r slash WTF blows up. 
A top 5 hospital in the country doesn't even know WTF this is. The comments were filled with a lot of same speculation that we all saw in the recent posts. With the addition of some other theories. Like one that was posted by a woman with a condition who made her suddenly grow fingernails instead of hair. But this time, Marn himself came to set the record straight. Hi, that's my leg. To clear up the lies and bullshit about everything posted here, I decided to post the real story. Three weeks prior to making this post, he noticed some bumps on his foot that he thought were mosquito bites. This wound up spreading throughout his arms, his legs, and his butt. The doctors told him this was a condition called HS purpura. HS purpura is a type of vasculitis that causes a distinct purple rash. Basically, the blood vessels in your skin, intestines, kidneys, and joints get inflamed and they bleed inside of you. The doctor told him that this isn't contagious and he gave him an antibiotic and steroid to treat it. He was also tested for diabetes and his blood work was fine. And note that it's important to the story that the doctor told him it's not contagious, because shortly after he would be attending a major tournament, and some people would accuse him of knowingly spreading an infectious disease. In fact, from what I saw, some people still think that's what happened. In any case, the doctor advised him to not go to the tournament just because his body's going through a lot he needs rest. But he went anyway. It wasn't a great decision. During the day, it feels fine. Slowly deteriorating until nighttime where I couldn't even walk. At night, it's unbearable burning pain where I couldn't even sleep. I never had fevers, chills, or anything. Just intense, burning, throbbing pain. I'd sat down and played blackjack for a couple hours into the morning because it hurt to lay down. Unfortunately, I got up from blackjack and felt really dizzy, blacking out on the casino floor for a couple of minutes. Afterwards, I got up and felt completely refreshed. Some people suggested that he tried to soak with Epsom salts to help with the pain, but it didn't really do that much. Eventually, the pain gets so severe that he has to go to the ER. They give him an IV, fill him up with some antibiotics, they run some tests, and his blood work and ultrasound look fine. These doctors advise him to go see UCLA Medical, and that visit came sooner than expected. Later that night, he had to go to the ER because his pain was so severe, on top of throwing up the contents of an empty stomach. So his friend takes him to the UCLA emergency room at 6am, and basically he just goes through the same procedure again, IV, antibiotics, tests. Once again, everything looks fine. They give him something to numb his stomach pain and tell him to set up an appointment with a dermatologist. And at the time of his post, he was waiting for that appointment. So now I just wait till Tuesday. The pus is oozing out by itself with a foul, rotten smell, but it's all scabbing up. At night, my left leg still gives out on me. That's basically it. Only pus is from my legs, but there's spots all over my legs and arms. He would later come back and edit the post to address claims that he picked up the disease in Vietnam. I did go to Vietnam from January to April of this year. This happened last week of June. I haven't been sick much in my life. My parents and brother have never had this. I had chicken pox when I was young. Everything depends on the appointment on Tuesday, I guess. Oh, and Marina ER doctor says she thinks it's vasculitis with a secondary infection, but not sure. Tuesday would arrive and he would come back to the thread with an update. Went to the dermatologist of UCLA today. They didn't even seem worried. Said it was vasculitis or PLEVA. They cut into my leg and arm for two different biopsies, stitched it up and sent me on my way. They prescribed me a month's worth of doxycycline, which I can't afford, so I'm probably going to die. Then they brought in three to four UCLA medical students to look at my stuff and explained why it's probably PLEVA slash vasculitis and stuff. So PLEVA is described by the National Library of Medicine as follows. PLEVA is a relatively benign cutaneous disorder of unclear origin that affects children and young adults. Patients present with a spontaneous eruption of erythematous macules that evolve into papules, rapidly undergoing hemorrhagic necrosis and ulceration. It generally just goes away on its own, but that can take weeks or it can take years, and sometimes just comes back out of nowhere. It's also important to note that they don't really know what causes it. When I made the short versions of this video for TikTok and Instagram, I noticed a lot of comments because he's a bigger dude that, oh man, now I'm so scared, I'm never gonna let myself get to that point. And it's good to be fit for a lot of reasons, but in this case, it probably won't save you. Although they don't know exactly what causes this, there is some evidence that it might be a weird immune response to some kind of viral or bacterial infection, or possibly the medicine used to treat such infections. But they haven't been able to identify exactly how it works. In any case, Marn's leg did clear up, he didn't get it amputated, he didn't make tacos out of it. And as far as I know, he didn't die. I saw a few people saying that he did die, but I think that stems from this joke memorial video that came out in 2012. But anyway, that's the story behind Gamer Lake. If you like this video, turn on notifications and check out my video about the guy who did amputate his leg and turned it into tacos for his friends. And once again, click the link in the description to check out my sponsor, Copilot. <laughs>